Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11. Deuteronomy 1 11. May the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times more and bless you as he has promised. Let me read that again. May the Lord, the God of our ancestors, of, of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times more and bless you as he has promised. Father, we thank you because your word is true. I pray that you anoint these lips of clay as I declare your word. Use your word to touch lives. Use your word to change lives. Use your word to challenge us in our work with you. Glorify your name through your word and we give you thanks. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody says amen. amen. By the way, before I get into the message, I forgot one important person. I will have committed an unbearable sin. Go look for it in Google. I want to appreciate God for my wife because she's always been my support, my pillar, my everything. She's my best friend. We are not just husband and wife. And I want to thank God because she stood by me over the years and I've stood by her too. And my being here today is made possible because she is back in a pastor taking care of the work. So I want to thank God for her life. I pray the Lord will continue to bless her and bless us. And I want to tell her on stage, on TV, on national TV, on worldwide TV, that I love her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to speak this morning on what I've called a thousand times more. A thousand times more. I don't know how good where you are right now is. I don't know how much progress you have made in life. I don't know how much you have accomplished in life. But listen. God wants to make you a thousand times more. Oh, somebody's not listening. I said God wants to make somebody a thousand times more. I've come to prophesy to somebody, somebody that is going to receive the word this morning, that you are going to be a thousand times more in 2023. I don't know what you have been through over the years. I don't know what you have been through yesterday's. At this moment, from this moment, in year 2023, I prophesy over somebody, God is going to make you a thousand times more, a thousand times more in your life, a thousand times more in your finances, a thousand times more in your career, wherever you find yourself, whatever you find yourself doing, God will make you a thousand times more. Say to yourself, this year, oh, say it like you mean it, this year, 2023, I shall be a thousand times more. My God will make me a thousand times more. This was a prayer that was prayed for the people of God. It doesn't matter the fact that God already has blessed them, but he promised he was going to make them a thousand times more. Now we are going to appropriate this scripture and this promise because God was not only speaking to them here in Deuteronomy, God is speaking to you and I. And God is saying in 2023 and for the rest of your life, you are going to become a thousand times more. Do you know what it is that where you are today in life is not where you're going to be in December of this year. Is somebody listening? I don't care where you are in life. It doesn't matter how much you have achieved so far, but I've come to announce to you where you are right now. It's not where you're going to be by December of this year. It's not where you're going to be six months from now. I declare in the name of Jesus, the God of heaven make you a thousand times more in Jesus' name. So how do you become a thousand times more? And that is what I'm going to share. I want to share with you how to become a thousand times more. How to apply this principle to, so that you become a thousand times more in all you do. The first thing I want to point out and get back to the scriptures where we read. I want to read the B part of it. Remember we are reading Deuteronomy chapter, 11, chapter 1 verse 11. The B part of it. And bless you as he has promised. So how do you become a thousand times more? By divine blessings of God. I've come to prophesy to somebody. The blessing of God is upon your life. Oh, somebody's not hearing. That is 
why you are not saying amen. Somebody is not listening or you are not receiving. Uh, for everyone who received this word, I've come to prophesy that the blessing of God is upon your life. The blessing of God to make you a thousand times more is upon your life. When God blesses you, it makes a difference. The blessing of God takes you from obscurity to limelight. The blessing of God takes you from zero to hero. The blessing of God takes you from the backside of the line to the front of the line. The blessing of God makes you become a spectacle of God's miracle. The blessing of God makes impossible things become possible. The blessing of God makes those that have looked down on you or despise you or think or thought that nothing good will come out of your life. The blessing of God makes repositions you and makes you become that focal point that they will run to and they will believe that the hand of God is on you. I declare over somebody the blessing of God is resting upon you. In case you are not listening, I said, I prophesy over you. The blessing of God is resting upon you. The blessing that will make you a thousand times more. Say to yourself, lift your hand and say to yourself, in the name of Jesus, I receive the blessing of God to make me a thousand times more. A thousand times more in my blessing, in my health. A thousand times more in my finances. A thousand times more in my career. I am blessed of the Lord. Come on, say it like you mean it. Some of you are not saying it like you mean it. I am blessed of the Lord. The blessings of God is upon me. I am a thousand times more because of his blessings. Amen. You see, there are things you can accomplish in your own effort. But there are things it takes only the blessing of God to accomplish. This morning on this message, I've come to deposit that blessing upon your life by the spoken word. By the authority of the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless you as he has promised. In other words, he has already promised to bless you. Now the word of God is, is enforcing and declaring that he is going to bless you as he has promised. If you are in a place in your life and you are wondering if God's blessing is on you, you are wondering if God is going to bless you, I want to remind you that God said, he promised that he's going to bless you. So we are just reinforcing, we are just reminding him of that promise. So I declare in the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you as he has promised. In your life, may the Lord bless you as he has promised. In your family, may the Lord bless you as he has promised in your destiny in your finances wherever you find yourself may the lord bless you as he has promised in jesus name because that blessing is what makes you a thousand times more number two how do you become a thousand times more look at the a part of it once again deuteronomy 11 chapter 1 verse 11 the a part of it May the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times more. How do you become a thousand times more? By divine increase by God. Only God can increase a man. Only God can increase a woman. When God increases you and makes you a thousand times more, it doesn't matter who's fighting you. It doesn't matter who is against you. It doesn't matter who doesn't like your face. If God increases you, if God blesses you and increases you, it doesn't matter what the economy says. I've come to declare to somebody, supernatural divine increase is coming upon you. Oh, somebody's not listening. I said supernatural divine increase is coming upon you. God is not only going to bless you, he's going to increase you. God is going to enlarge your course. God is going to make you to become that person that when people are looking for a miracle, they will point to you and say, he is a mobile miracle. She is a mobile miracle. Because the miracle you read in the Bible is one thing. But when you experience a miracle in your life and people use you as a focal point for God's miracle, for testimonies, for increase. When people want to look at or talk about how God can increase somebody, may they point to you. May they say, oh, you see how God has increased him, has increased her. That is what's going to happen in your life. I prophesy over somebody, supernatural divine increase is coming upon you. Receive.
receive it in Jesus' name. How do you become a thousand times more by supernatural increase? If God doesn't increase you, there's nothing you can do. And it doesn't matter what you do, it amounts to nothing. Apostle Paul realized this. And he said, I only plant. Apollos only waters. Your planting and the watering amounts to nothing. If God doesn't give the increase. He says God is the one that gives the increase. If God gives you increase, no demon from the pit of hell can stop that. Sometimes we make the devil too powerful. And I've had people give testimonies or talk about how powerful the devil is. Somebody was saying something and they said, he said, my blessing or my wealth was tied in the sea. I mean, they told her, um, some false prophet or something. And I said, and you believe that? You really believe that? And you're a believer? We sometimes make the devil too powerful. For those of us from Africa, we make our village people too powerful. Have you heard of VP before? You know who VP is? VP, village people. Some of us have made them so powerful that any tragedy that happens, oh, that's my village people. You have headache now. Oh, my village people must have sent the headache. You have high blood pressure. Oh, that must be the village people. You miss something financially. Oh, now, I'm not saying we are from Africa. We force those demonic forces to get to where we are. I'm not denying the fact that evil doesn't exist and that our village people can't try to stop us. But the point is this. If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for you, no village power, no witchcraft power, no occultic power can stop you. Why? Because God is with you. If there is a takeaway you are trying to take from this message, let it be the fact that God is with you. That the blessing of God is with you. Because that is what is going to produce the increase. Paul said, I plant an Apollos waters, but it is God that gives the increase. Man of God, even in this ministry work we are doing, you can only do your best. You can pray fast, do all you do. It is not of he that will it, not of he that run it, of God that shows mercy. If the season for increase hasn't come, it doesn't matter what you do. 70 days praying and fasting wouldn't do it. Because there is a season. And by the way, life operates in season. God deals with us in season. When the season comes, before the season comes, it doesn't matter what you do. Because as a farmer, some of us have a farming background. You go to the farm, you plant the seed, the corn, whatever it is, and then you, you water it, you nurture it, you do everything, and then you wait for the harvest. If it is not harvest season, even if you go the next day and pray and fast and speak in tongue, Rabba Shakataba, I receive my harvest. This corn grow, mature. No, if it is not harvest season, no gymnastic display can change that. It must go through the process. But when you enter the harvest season, you don't even need to pray to go and harvest it. Am I right? You just walk into the harvest and you begin to reap in the harvest. Jesus said, did you not say there is four more months, there are four more months before the harvest? But he said, lift up your eye and see. Look to the field for its harvest already. I've come to announce to somebody, it is your harvest season. You have entered into your season of harvest. The harvest of increase, the harvest of enlargement, the harvest of abundance is upon you. That season is here. That increase is here. And that is why I am so confident that God is going to make you a thousand times more. How? Because there is a season of increase that is bringing you into. When he brings you into that season, because of the increase, you will automatically, automatically become a thousand times more. Say to yourself, this year, say like you mean it, this year, 
2023 and for the rest of my life, I shall be a thousand times more by reason of God's blessings and by reason of divine increase. Father, I receive the blessings from your throne. I receive supernatural divine increase that you will make me a thousand times more because of your blessings and by reason of your increase. I receive it in Jesus' name. So today I bless you and I declare by the reason of divine increase, you shall be a thousand times more in Jesus' name. Number three, how do you become a thousand times more? Let me read from Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6. Verse 6. The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have stayed long enough in this mountain. How do you become a thousand times more? Refuse to remain on the same spot. If you want to become a thousand times more, you cannot become that by being comfortable where you are. When you are comfortable where you are in life, that is never going to be now. You, there's a reason why it is called a comfort zone. You are comfortable. And I think they should have called it comfort chair. Because you are actually sitting and relaxing. But you see, for you to become a thousand times more, they have got to come to a point in your life when you become uh, uncomfortable where you are, refuse to remain on the same spot in life. It doesn't matter how good it is. It doesn't matter how much great things God already has done. Listen, there's always more that God wants to do. There's always more in the next chapter. There's always more in the next phase of your life. God wants to do something more. Are you listening to me? I said God wants wants to do something more, something greater, something miraculous, something more abundant, refuse to remain on the same spot because God himself got tired of these people, the Israelites, when they remained on the same spot for a long time. And God said to them in where we read, you have dwelt long enough on this mountain. How long have you been on the same spot in life and how comfortable are you? It's not just that you are on the same spot, that you are comfortable. You cannot become a thousand times more by being comfortable or comfort here where you are. So I've come to rock the boat for somebody. I've come to challenge your comfort level. If you are always looking for a reason to remain where you are, you will find many, not just one. But if you're also looking for a reason to move on, you are going to find some reasons too. There is something more that God has for you. There is something greater that God has for you. And I want to thank God for what he has done already in, my, in the life of my sister and her family. But you see, she's entering, she, has, she, she left her comfort zone when she went back to school. She left her comfort zone when she joined the military. And right now, even though it's an uncharted course, but listen, God, you are not making room for God. When you leave your comfort zone, you are not making room for God to make you a thousand times more. But as far as you are relaxing or chillaxing in your comfort zone, remaining where you are and hoping to remain so, you will never, God can never make you a thousand times more. So to really become a thousand times more, become uncomfortable. Choose to move to the next phase. When you are reading a book and you finish chapter one, what do you do? Talk to me. Where, what do you do? You flip to the next chapter, right? Can you imagine finishing chapter one? And chapter two is waiting. God is waiting. The word is waiting for you to flip to chapter two. You're like, oh man, I love this story. I so love the whole, the, the plot and everything. And you go back to repeat chapter one and you repeat it again. Hey. Flip to chapter 2. There is something more. There is a continuation of chapter 1. But something greater is in chapter 2. I've come to challenge somebody. In the next chapter of your life, there is something greater. Something more powerful. Something more glorious. I've, I've come to challenge
want you now, move to that next chapter. Flip the page to the next chapter. Become uncomfortable. Don't dwell in that comfort zone anymore. Refuse to remain on the same spot. And God will make you a thousand times more. Say it one more time. In the name of Jesus, I believe that God will make me a thousand times more. Therefore, I declare and I've decided I'm moving on out of my comfort zone. I'm moving on into the next phase and the next chapter of my life. In Jesus' name. Finally, as I begin to round up, number four, how do you become a thousand times more? By taking steps of faith to advance your course. Look at verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8. This is God speaking. He says, see, I have said before you, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land. I swore to you, to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them to the, and to their descendant after them. God gave the command. This was not a wishful thinking. God said to them, now go in and take the land. If God said go in and take the land and you are just relaxing where you are, listen, you are never going to become a thousand times more. The secret of becoming a thousand times more is to begin to take the steps of faith. Mind you, it is called a step of faith. Because if you are looking for excuses not to take that step, you will find those excuses, many. But when you decide that if God says go take the land, I'm going to take the step of faith to go take the land, and you begin to make that move, God will honor that move. God will honor the steps of faith you take. What are these things, the steps or the things you need to do to move forward in life? What are those promises you have been waiting for? And by the way, no matter for how long you wait for the promises to manifest, God will not come from heaven to manifest them. It's your action of faith. The steps you take by faith will actualize those promises. So I've come to challenge your faith today. Move out of your comfort zone. Create room for God to make you a thousand times more. Begin to take the steps of faith you need to take, whatever they are, according to the level of your faith. And watch God make you a thousand times more. I pray the blessing of God. Come on, stand on your feet now. I pray for you right now. In year 2023, come on. I want you to talk to God by, by yourself. Tell him, Father, before I pray for you, let me say here, here you pray this prayer. Tell him, Father, in this year and for the rest of my life, make me a thousand times more. I receive this promise. I receive this word for myself. I'm not okay where I am today. While I thank you for all you have done for me, but Lord, I want to move to the next chapter of my life. Make me a thousand times more. Come on, pray that prayer before I pray with you. I pray for you. Shakapata, leke posata, levra bova bosata, yeke peva bu, zenda ba shakata, leke pugada, lando braka vabasata. Thank you, Jesus. Kabo shakatata, leke pora bova bova sata ba, shegeve bo shakatata. Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice who have heard this word and received it by faith. I pray for everyone watching online according to your word. Father, make us all a thousand times more. Somebody is not listening. You are not saying amen. I said I am praying right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, make us all a thousand times more in the name of Jesus. In year 2023 and for the rest of your life, may you become a thousand times more. I bless you today with the blessing of God. I bless you today with divine increase. I bless you today with divine favor. I bless you today with faith and courage that you need to move to the next chapter, to the next phase of your life. And I pronounce the blessing of God. May God make you from today to be a thousand times more in Jesus name 
for anyone who is here or those who are watching and you know that you have received this word you've had this word but you don't really have a relationship with god with jesus and you want to invite him into your life as your lord and savior I want to say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I want to become a thousand times more, but I want to begin my journey with you, journey of faith. If you are here in the house, or if you are watching online, you want to invite Jesus into your love, life as your Lord and Savior, just place your hand upon your heart and say this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I come to you as a sinner. I committed them in ignorance. Today I repent of my sins. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Cancel my name from the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Lord Jesus, I welcome you into my life as to my Lord and Savior. I shall serve you all the days of my life. I will follow you. Help me to walk with you. Holy Spirit of God, come and live in my heart. Help me to serve God to the end of my life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. I receive it by faith. And I declare according to your word in John 1, 12, that to many that receive you, you have given power to become sons of God. Today I declare I am a child of God. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for everyone who have prayed this prayer from their heart. Who have asked to invite you to receive you into their lives as their Lord and Savior. I ask, Lord, that you forgive their sins. Wash them with the blood of Jesus. Write their names in the book of life. Cancel their names from the book of death. Give them the grace and the strength they need so that they will follow you and they will serve you all the days of their lives thank you lord i bless you today and for everyone who have received this word i bless you today i declare from this day may the lord make you a thousand times more in jesus name declare it with me one more time in 2023 and for the rest of my life the lord shall make me the lord is making me a thousand times more so is it and so shall it be in jesus name come on give the lord a clap one more time praise god